I expect that we have all heard the bell rung to our hearing. Maybe we didn't hear the first round once more. What bell? Or what, what is that bell? What does it signify? Hosea chapter 10. Verse 12. For it is time to seek the Lord. For it is time to seek the Lord. 
And that is the theme of this camp meeting. And that is what we've all come here for. Amen. For three to four months now, I have had the assurance that God will bless this meeting. And Amen. Not in my power, nor in my knowledge or understanding, but I know that it is the will of God that we should all receive blessings in this year's annual camp meeting convention. You know, and this has been my thinking and my prayer ever since unto this morning. And that I praise God for your prayers. I praise God for your cooperation. I praise God for your support, which have all made it possible for us to assemble here this morning. God has given me two short testimonies, which I will give you in order to confirm that God will certainly bless this year's annual camp meeting. As you all know, I was given the privilege to travel to our mother church in Portland, Oregon. Before my departure, God has made, has made full preparation for this year's camp meeting. My first testimony centers on what I saw in Portland, Oregon. Yes. Amen. To confirm that God has fully determined and will not change that determination to bless this year's camp meeting. The in the very first meeting of that camp meeting in our church in Portland, Oregon, I stood ajar. I couldn't understand what was happening. Why the general overseer chose this same bus for his exhortation? And after the service, I and my secretary, we discussed we could not understand what was happening. And I had to bring this to the notice of the general overseer that that same verse he chose was the very, uh, the very verse we have chosen as the theme of this year's annual committee convention in Lagos. And throughout that committee convention, every moment, every time, every hour, every minute, I was pondering, I was praying, I was shedding tears about how God will bless this year's annual camp meeting. Yes. My second testimony is that God has blessed this camp meeting. Before the very commencement, God has already blessed this camp meeting. Yes. yes. Well, in our presence and to the world, this meeting is starting today. 
But do you know that this meeting actually started last Friday? I'm not referring to the ministers and workers conference. It's God himself holding this meeting. And he has started. It started by blessing us. Amen. Last Friday night, stroke yesterday morning, seven of our people from Togo were saved. If the beginning is like that, what do you expect today will be? Today we certainly and surely be good. Today we certainly be good. And that is what we want everyone to know. Verse 12. Verse 12. Verse 12. Verse 12. Sort yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord, till he come and rain righteousness upon you. God has gathered all of us together as one person in his mercy. And as we said earlier, the purpose is to bless us. And how we want he wants to bless us is contained in that verse we are afraid. He's telling us that we should sow to ourselves in righteousness and reap it in mercy. God has said to the merciful, he will reveal himself as merciful. In order to receive this blessing, God has told us what to do, and that is break up your fallow ground. And they have made something marvelous. Known to us. And it's enlivening our hope in this prayer fallow ground. Because the ground refer to here. It's a ground being formerly farmed by the farmer, but he has now left it as fallow ground. Break up your fallow ground. On one occasion, God told the children of Israel that He was going to turn His back to them. That their fertile land, bringing about fruits and other crops, will become barren. And instead of yield, yielding uh, good fruits, it will bring about thorns and thistles. And that the people passing by that garden will be asking, was not this same land that was bringing out fruits in abundance, was this not this same, the same ground yielding crops in abundance? How has it become so desolate? How has it become so barren? How has it become a reproach? And the land God meant at that time was the nation of Israel whom God had forsaken because of their transgression. 
ti olorun so pe ki atun ile wa ti akoro o fi won wi pe ile na ko ti tanu rara ile na ko ti ko sile rara coming to us this morning god telling us to break up our fallow ground shows that god has not forsaken that ground kini ile na what is that ground o na ni okan wa that is our heart olorun o ti ko wa sile god has not forsaken us I want you to know that. Olorun ko iko wa sile rara. God has not forsaken us at all. O fe se rere fun wa. He wants to do us good. Gege bi agbin. Se nfe mu rere jare lati nu oko e ti o ti fi sile fun bi odun meji ta bi odun meta pe ki o tun le mu iru jade ko tun le ni isoji. Ngba ti o ba si fe tun gbin to se wi pe agbin yo tun lo sinu oko na. Lati tun lo tun ro. Lati tun lo pe si e sile. Be gege ni Olorun se fun wa. Ile wa ti a ko iti iro yi. Ti Olorun ko iti iko ti yi. O ni Olorun wa so fun pe ka wa mu wa. Ka wa tun se. Ka wa tun ro. Ka wa tun pe si e sile. Just as the farmer expects to bring out good crops in abundance from his fallow ground. When he goes back there to till it. To prepare it and to sow it, he expects a very good harvest. And similarly, God is calling us this morning that we should bring that heart of ours to Him, prepare that heart of ours fully to Him, break up our fallow ground, sow our seed in order to reap a good harvest. Gagadi orila de tin she of me. He let a very green country. I'm a wipe. So bad ya koko eno. Nigba ti ko si ojo igba yen ni awon agbe won ko irin se won ya lati agbe ti ede wa ni tabi awon agbe oloyin bo ti won lo ero ni a lo ge oko lule to ba to bi ojo melo kan ti ohun ba gbe o koriko ti a ge lule a lo fi ina si as an agricultural country we know that during the dry season the farmer goes to cut down the bush it may be the peasant farmer or the mechanized farmer. He calls down the bush, and then he drives up, and then he sets in the fire. To ba je, a won a gbe ti ibi le ni, won a ton pada lo si oko yi, won a bere si wu a won bo mbo, a won igi, a won kukute, ti won wa ni no oko. To ba si je ti a gbe olo yi bo ni, won a ton gbe ero, ero, e ti o lagbara, won a bere si tu yi le, a ti bo 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 mbo, a ti bo bo igi, kuro ni no yi le na. After the burning, the traditional peasant farmer goes back there, uprooting the trees in order to remove every hindrance. Or the mechanized modern farmer may go there with his tractor to uproot the trees before sowing the seed. O da lori unti wa begmi, to ba jai resi ni wa begmi ni. Awo agbe olo yibo, tabi awo agbe ti bile, wa bere si wuile, wa bere si wuile. Mo bere si wu ile yen sita. To ba si je un ti won fe gbin sinu ebe ni. Ba kan na ni won ma ko ebe ni ra ira ni ra ira ni ra ira. Ebe ti a ko yi yo mu ki ile to wa ni sale ka gbe sita ka gbe sita. Bayi ni agbe ma se ile re sile. Hun ati gbin ru gbin si. It depends on what the farmer wants to sow into that uh, ground. The traditional farmer begins to till the ground. And also the mechanized farmer tells the ground before sowing the seed. If what we want to plant will require heaps or ridges, you see the farmer, both the peasant farmer or the modern farmer, making heaps or ridges before planting the crop. Our new kono. We are the ground. Our heart is the ground. God is the gardener. He wants to wait our heart. Gogo Igbo, Gogo Koriko, Gogo Idoti, to wa ni be, Olorun fe ti kuro. God wants to wait up all the weeds, all the droughts, and all the blemishes from there. Be se ma je ko se oni kaye fi, ti o ba ri Igbo tabi Idoti, tabi aipe, tabi aye, tabi aito kankan ninu okan e, lo ro yi, ni bere ipade yi, ma je ko se oni kaye fi, ni ile wa ati ni ile okere. O ma npe awon kan ni ogbogi specialist iwaju ogbogi la wa sloro yi ogbogi o na ni olorun olodumare ile okan wa yen 
o se se ko je epo lo wa nbe o se se ko je igbo lo wa nbe o se se ko je egan ti nunu ti gi nla nla wa ni be ninu okan yen ogbo gi ti a wa ba bi o tu gbogbo ile na amen bi o tu gbogbo ile na amen ni pa se oro e yes don't be on daily worried I do not be surprised. Should you discover this morning that deep down in your heart there are blemishes, deep down there there are weeds, deep down there there are shortcomings. Don't feel unduly worried because we have come before a specialist. Our God is a specialist, and whatever you may have in that heart, be they tears, be they weeds, or be your heart even a virgin forest with very mighty trees, our God is a specialist. is going to weed everything clean, and he will do that by his way. se olorun nipa se oro re o je ka e se je ka fi oju inu wo ngbati ero ijoba ti o ba ntule gege bi apere ngbati a fe ko ile yi iru ero be agba lati wa fi tu ile opolopo awon nkan ti ba se ile yi ni wahala ti ba se pa wa eyan lara oni titule ti a tule yi on lo tu asiri won sita ti a si bo ninu ewo this specialist is certainly going to till the ground of our head and is going to do that by his word when we were Tilling, we were preparing the ground for this tabernacle. We had to use a caterpillar, and that caterpillar killed up everything that would have constituted a danger in the future to this building. Ni isalei le yi akeke wa nibe. Bi caterpillar tin tule ba yi ni caterpillar tule ko ya akeke parahon. Ejo wa nibe. Bi caterpillar tin tule ni ejo parahon. Bi caterpillar tin tule li awo kete ni wo saja de ni wo luku luku salo awo to she pa pa mo. The caterpillar was walking, chilling the ground. Scorpions appeared, and as it continued to walk, snakes came about. Not only that, as it continued to walk, there were big rats coming out. We killed as many as we could. Ni no akonwa, okolopo onwe wulowa ni be. Chibo bi olano timo ma tuile akonwa, awonwe wuyi bi akeke bi ejo bi pamole bi eroloro. e ran ko loro ti won para pa mo sibe bi caterpillar tin tu ile caterpillar oro olorun bo tin tu ile okan wa awon won iwu yi olorun ma tu asiri won sita amen ki se ko ma tu asiri won sita ni kan so a ma pa won yeah a ma te won mole yeah as god tells our heart with his caterpillar all the scorpions there all the snakes there all the serpents there all the others there we come out god will reveal them he will show them to us they will not be any longer any secret to us Not only that we shall know them, we shall kill them, and we shall trample them under our feet. Be a debate to you later. To see the coyote be, have you thought you could see the evil from both sides of the sea? On to the corner, be come and look me wa. Let you ask me this. After the farmer has fully prepared the ground, he cut down the bush, he set it on fire, he made the heaps or ridges. The next thing is to sow the seed. Be allowed not to see the corn wa. Let you only see the allowed to see the seed. I want to ask me. I want me to ask me. It's my food. It's my digi. It's my jiso. Amen. See so my job go on. Amen. So my job be back. Amen. Amen. Come and get back there, huh? Amen. See ya in the park, huh? Amen. As God we will then till the ground of our heart. God has already prepared good crop, good seed that He will sow and that will grow, that will bring about fruit in thirty folds, a hundred folds, a two hundred folds. Unto everlasting life. Oh no! You my jade, jade biri. You see man say mini, 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 mini. Sorry, oko eh. Sorry, oko mi. Amen. Sorry, oko mode. Amen. Sorry, oko agba. Amen. Mumo kwe. Allah no use you bello. Amen. The word will be coming out, falling like a dew upon your head, upon my head, upon the heart of the young one, upon the heart of the elderly one. I know God will do that and more for us. Do you know? You shall have a shiny hair. Therefore, we are here for business. Come and share any candy to my kuno. to ile okan re there should be nobody who will fail to till the ground of his heart olorun ni kan lo pe only god is perfect ko se ni kan ni ninu wa to pe none of us is perfect oro olorun pe the word of god is perfect bi oro yi mama jade and as this word comes forth bi o ti mama fi bi ti do ti ti abuko ti aye wa ha and it shows and it, as it shows us where our shortcomings our blemishes our draws it up ha wo aye to wa rara don't uh, consider your position eh mo ti fa fun yin lati igbade igba mi ko ni alakoso olorun ni alakoso bi bo ba bo ba je alakoso ta bo je alufa ta bo je omo jo ta bo je ni keni je ki oro yi ko tu ile okan e o mo o ri o o mo bi to subu si bi bi to subu si yen ha o mo bi ti igbo yen wa bi bi ti igbo wa ha ni ko ba e tu be yo tu be 
You banebe, mosoni, soni. I've always said this that I'm not the overseer. God is our overseer. Therefore, as this word come out, comes out, be you an overseer, be you a pastor, be you a minister. Give place to this word of God in your hand because this word knows you. This word sees you. Allow the word of God to cut down the bush and the weight in your heart and allow the word of God to sweep everything clean. Thank you, thank you. If I see you feel your car to let us into it, let you show to do my learning. No, beg, beg, ni a koko e fadi yi. Be all on to my to it, let go. Only my own be, only my own alone, only my dream be, only my dream alone. But my alone, let it new just be home. Certainly, when the caterpillar is still in the ground, it's not very pleasant for that particular ground. And therefore, as the word of God tells the ground of your head, you may be feeling the pain here, you may be feeling the pain there, you may be uncomfortable here and there, but give in to the word of God and it will certainly be to your good. Etu ile yin ti akoro, nitori oto akoko lati wa oluwa titi o fi de, ti o ti fi rojo, ododo. Etu ile yin ti akoro, nitori oto akoko lati wa oluwa titi o fi de, ti o ti fi rojo, ododo. Amen. Break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord till He come and rain righteousness upon you. It is time to seek the Lord. That is why we are here. Don't let us behave like foolish people. As we are told in the book of Job. Ask Him from God who is the Lord that we should seek Him. Or the God Almighty that we should pray unto Him. We believe that God exists. And we believe also that God gives good reward to those who seek Him. We equally believe that whoever seeks God sincerely will never go empty-handed. It appears we are many. But we are not as many as the blessings God will pour upon us this morning. I want you to remember. Yes. We have tried many things in the world and failed. We have Knowledge and education have failed to help us and to solve all our mysteries. James chapter 3. James chapter 3. From verse 13 to 18. And we shall say how wisdom, knowledge, education cannot get us out of our troubles. Verse 13. Who is a wise man and endowed with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his work with meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and strife in your head, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, and devilish. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. Nigeria. From which part of Nigeria are you? And you can therefore not testify, confirm this word. The wisdom of the world, education have turned this country upside down. Because Yes. There is no hamlet or any remote part of this country where wisdom and education are, have not had any impact. But there, we know that in all these places, all this, this wisdom is not from above. It is earthly, it is sensual, it is devilish. We can also confirm from my experience where that where people or do they value such wisdom, there is confusion and every evil work. We know what our losses and disappointments have been as a nation. 
ogbon ati imo aye yi through the knowledge and wisdom of the world melo ni kaka ni na awon ile ise nla nla ti awon baba wa ti won fi owo to to ni ye lori ti won fi gbe kale sugbon ogbon iwe imo aye imo eko o ti wo gbogbo e pale large industrial establishment undertaken by our poor parents have been raised the number of such great establishment is uncountable the wisdom of the world and education are present o ko pa awon mo wa ti arun lo si ile eko yi lati lo gba ogbon aye imo aye eko aye o ti pade iku lojiji ti won si pare ti won and many of our children whom we have sent for to receive worldly knowledge and worldly education have met on timely death and gone to eternity mi o re ni kan ni ni joko ile oro yi ti ko n para gba ti iso iso ogbon aye yi ti ko n kun lese ba tin soro yi awon mo wa ta ran lo si ile eko to ye kan wa ni sin mi ni sisin yi igba to ye kan sise ti won se re ni sisin yi ijoba to lase lori gbogbo wa o da won joko si ile eko won nitori pe kini ogbon aye yi rudurudu ija wahala ifanju lo ma nko yo sugbon mo fi oko ori re olorun ko ma sa yo ni be amen i'm very sure that there's none of us who is not feeling the pain in one way or the other either because your children or your relations are involved we know what has happened as children sent to institutions of higher learning in order to acquire the knowledge of the world we know what has happened the rebels and because they did that the government has kept them outside their campus but we praise god and i congratulate you that god has been so gracious to you to bring you into contact with this uh, godly wisdom 17 oke wa akomo ati ni alafia ani ipamora ki si soro lati be akun fun anu ati fun eso rere lai si egbe ati lai si agabagebe eso dodo li agbin li alafia fun awon tin sise alafia but the wisdom that is from above is first pure then peaceable gentle and easy to be treated full of mercy and good fruit without partiality and without hypocrisy and the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace ogbon to to ke wa the wisdom from above on la wa wa o that's what we are here for ogbon to to ke wa the wisdom from above ogbon to to peaceable ogbon to se be ogbon to se be wisdom that can still be ogbon to se ga to se go to se tisin to se tisa un and wisdom that can be controlled that can be trained ogbon to ma mu alafia wa wisdom that brings peace ogbon to mu iye wa wisdom that brings life ogbon yen la wa wa o that is what we are here for ogbon na o and who is that wisdom o ni jesus o jesus christ Lord my say Jehovah Neo may you have him by the grace of God We are here for that wisdom Ogbon yen wa ninu igbala That wisdom is in salvation Ogbon yen o wa ninu igbala That wisdom is in salvation In tan pe ni igbala ni darije ese What we mean by salvation is forgiveness of sin Ogbon yen wa ninu igbala That wisdom is contained in salvation Ogbon yen wa ninu isodi mimo That wisdom is in sanctification Ogbon yen wa ninu emi mimo That wisdom is in the baptism of the Holy Ghost It's not in money Ko si ninu oro It's not in wealth. You will let me. You can my. Uh, you can bear me out. Emi le le riye. And I can bear you out. Pe o wo ko. That is not money. O wo ti se ti lori laide yi. Many have tried and failed in this nation. O la ti se ti lori laide yi. And uh, the noun and popularity have tried and failed. Ki se ni gba ti wa ni kan. Not only in our own time. Ati aye baye. From time immemorial. Ni Olorun ko fi asiri alafia sinu owo ta bi oro. God has not put the secret of pay in money or wealth. Ni no Jesus ni kan so so lo wa. It's only in Jesus Christ. Ko ni na. Therefore, la jori nsu ma ma kete olorun fun the ultimate purpose of uh, for calling upon god ni se ni gba go yi nikan not only during this camp ni po ko ja ye re all the days of your life o ni mo be ka si ole ti yi i want to read to we iwe o we ori ogbon proverbs 13 iwe o we ori ogbon proverbs 13 ese ikejo ese ikeje si kesan verse 7 to 9 o meji ni mo toro lodo re ba se bi won tu mi ke ni ki o to Mm. Two things are part required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Mo aso ati ekeji na si mi. Ma se fun mi ni osi. Ma se fun mi ni oro. Fi o nje to to fun mi si bo mi. Amen. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Ma 
Don't forget. And let that be very close to your daily prayer. Your prayer at all times. Your yearly prayer. Your monthly prayer. Your hourly prayer. Your prayers minute by minute. Remove that from me, vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty. No riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Let I be full and deny thee and say, Who is the Lord? Maybe, may we not be too filled? When we are filled up, we will bust. And that is what is happening in the world. This man of God was praying that he would not be too uh, filled, overfilled to the point of kicking against God by saying, Who is the Lord? The other side gave me neither poverty. That I feel not. And take the name of God. God is a true God. It's a righteous God. I want you to keep that promise. Amen. Amen. Keep that promise probably in your hand. I've been young and now I'm old. Yet I find nothing the righteous forsaken. The righteous is the redeemed soul. Yet I find nothing the righteous forsaken. No, it's still begging bread. Now we are a period of economy. Economic crisis, the scarcity of everything, making us meet is a problem. But let me assure you that God will supply your every need because our God in heaven is bounty, will provide for us. I will do it, I don't know, but I know He will do it. Arife, Ogbo Olese, Arife, Oro Olese. We know that wisdom cannot do it, wealth cannot do it. Solomon is a fool, only for going to do it, fellow people, for going to say, Tim fellow people, for going to say, No fellow people, to go to bed, to bed, to go to Paris, and we. Solomon said that he has not withdrawn from his eyes whatever they wanted. He did not withdraw from his body whatever it wanted. He did not withdraw from his mouth whatever it wanted. But after providing all those things for the body and the flesh, he concluded by saying, All is vanity and vexation of spirit. We also have the confirmation in the Holy Bible that just as wisdom has failed, just as money has failed, we also see that pleasures and passion of the world have also failed. We will be Isaiah. Isaiah Ori Adota Odimeta Chapter forty seven Essay K J C Kesson Verse seventy nine. You are we pay the mu ja yalo de city life then you walk off in come one ye see a yare then you walk on t ben ye re and thou says, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay this sense to thy heart, neither didst thou re- de- neither didst remember the latter end of it. A lady, a popular lady, known by everyone. Well, if I'm not there, nothing good. God is asking you and prompting you not to follow her and to, to think of the end. Do you think of the latter end? You, the fashionable. Going to the stadium, feigning to watch the football match. Have you not seen people losing their lives there? You are laughing. Don't laugh. You lay. If I get, if you want to be a woman, only man or man or her. Oh, you are a lot of. I want you to laugh. You bet. I think I want to see pain. You lay. Cinema walk by. Cabin no shell. Oh, you don't walk by. Yes. You're the fashionable. Going to movies to watch moving pictures. Have you not? 
prepared for people when they are and not lost their lives there because the house either collapsed or there was fire outbreak. Oh, Bamo. You don't know? Only if you are big bola lady. Ah, brother big bola. Only if you are Benny Olari Waju White lady. And ah, brother Olari Waju White. In 1966, 67, two Gunja ni orila ide wa ni cinema kasi no. I want you want lost the cinema. You want to get the buy it. Ni agbafu ti no she. Olari ma ya wa mo Olari meji. Yeah. You want ni le ka kiri le gori ni asai ni ese ni o. You want to pay. Olari ni koki e sara kono ti benye o. In the year 1966-67, during the Civil War, people went to casino cinema. As they were going out, there was a bomb explosion, and human bodies were shattered. Different parts of the bodies scattering all around. Do you know that God delivered to children of God? And let me warn you, you the fashionable, you want to enjoy the pleasures of life. Think of your latter end. Yes, I can't say you won't come in. You want in your debate alone? You kill your job, oh for a moment, you fool. Oh, bow, pray, pray. Ni tori o kwa lopo isi a jere Ati ni tori o kwa lopo isi a fo shere That's nine but these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day. The lot of children and widows, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantment. May this not be your lot. May, may this not be your portion. May it not be my portion. But do you know that it's the portion of our neighbors? Don't you know that? Have you not seen that? I want to Young ones, not only male, no beauty, female, she won't cook, dying, maybe she won't be lost. She fight where they have come for pleasure. Have already, have already, you have not seen it. Oh, Rika, have you not read it? Barney, a householder, for my silly, living the children, living the wife, for cool, maybe fight, dying. During fun, so a lot of people are playing. But if they knew, I feel for the fun in town fell. Yes, God is prompting you to remember your latter end, and that fun cannot give you what you want. Gaga be at his fun. What to a coco la tiwa a lot of. As we said earlier, it is time to seek the Lord. A lot of people are going to be like a boy. God is already breaking up the ground of our heart. A jab a fun a lot of. Let us surrender to God. A jab a fun a lot of. La yela tiche. Let us give God. Full scope to do it. Remember what is said. That my thoughts toward you are good thoughts. Good thoughts. People from Ghana. South Africa. And the brother from South Africa. Zimbabwe. And our brethren from Zimbabwe. Togo. And our people from Togo. Our Ivory Coast. Our people from Ivory Coast. And you in your lot, you only go there and you only like in Nigeria. And our people from every nook and corner of this country, Nigeria. And our people from Zion. God is saying that He has good thoughts toward you. Thoughts of peace. The farmers prepare the ground. The farmers till the ground. And God is already tilling the ground. God is already preparing our minds. God is already preparing our minds. Why? Because He wants to do something. He wants to do something marvelous. They want to do something wonderful. We want to see the marvelous thing. They want to do a marvelous thing. They want to do something very Because this morning, in this last reference, it will do something for us. Ezekiel, we will leave. Ezekiel, Ezekiel, we will leave. Ezekiel, Ezekiel, Ori Ogbo, Ole Mary, chapter thirty-four, Esai Kenny, Jini Ogbo, verse twenty-six. And you see here. I want at the beach you you can make a nibble cool, and I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessed job. Have you heard that? In your city, I want some of we pay ni lewa oni in your pocket jawa de. Then it say in your city, go go what you want to find ye at the beach you you walk. We are going by you, we are going to go you, we are land to you. We are the people who are going to oni in your city. I want at the beach you you can make a nibble. And I will make them. You know that is Torah, and a tree does not make a forest. And I will make them, and the places round about. Maybe you on this campground or the other locations where people are lodged. And I will make them, and the places round about my hill a blessed glory. This morning, when the Sunday school was on, I was telling Elder Gunaike just to look ahead. The auditorium. Cannot 
Therefore, those of you in Sale, those of you in the basement, in the basement in one more day, those of you in the children's home, those in the country, 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 those in the